Okay guys, this is uh, part two. I'm going to show you how to install the backup loader now. Okay, what you need to do is you need to put your SD card back in and all the files that were on there before, delete them. You don't need them any longer. Now, what you need to do is see this folder right here, SD card files for Windows. Just double click on that. Pretty much self-explanatory. Copy contents to root of SD card. So all you do is click, highlight all these copy and paste them on the root of your SD card which I have uh, have already done so once they're on there take your SD card and put it into your Nintendo Wii I like you to just restart that. I don't know why I just didn't do that to begin with. Just click home and hit uh, reboot and restart the homebrew channel. Okay, so now this is what should be on your SD card. My God, I cannot get. Alright, I guess I'll have to do this from super close up. All right, first thing you want to do is go to this file right here. And blah, 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 load. Okay, now it's going to say disclaimer, blah, blah, blah. Just press A. Um, right here, where it says WAD installer, that's what you want. So just press A. Blah, blah, blah. And it'll say, press any button to restart the Wii. So now it's restarting. Press A. No. Back to homebrew. Sorry guys, it's kind of hard one hand. Let me take out this damn long job. Okay. Now, go right here, DVDX installer, press load. Okay, now for this part, you're going to see normal, uh, patch, advanced, and uninstall. Go down to advanced, and right here, where it says iOS 3.6 you need to take your finger and scroll over to right here this is what you want i0s249 then go over here go down you use the d-pad press A 